So welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Chad Butt, Executive Director of Mentor Vermont. I wanted to thank you all for joining us today to celebrate the 2021 Vermont Ambassadors of Mentoring Awards. Uh, and thank Comcast for their, their support for the sixth year in a row of this, this awards uh, and really helping us raise awareness around Vermont uh, about the amazing work that all these 13 ambassadors uh, matches are doing, but also just the mentoring programs around the state that are doing amazing work. Uh, it's an honor to be here today and, and celebrate the impact that mentoring is having around the state uh, during this pandemic and just in general, always. So I, I continue to be inspired by the mentoring programs around the state and how they've adjusted to meet the needs of their communities during this difficult time. Uh, the pandemic has only amplified the the, the difficulty of all of us to try to stay connected and really allowing mentors mentors and mentees allow one another to, to lean on the, those relationships that they have established over the years that they trust uh, to be there for one another and be there not only for mentors being there for mentees, but we found that this is also something that the mentees are there for the mentors during this time, being some consistent contact that folks are having on a weekly basis with some, science, some people outside of their, their immediate household or pod. I know for me personally, this has been something that my mentee and I have been meeting virtually over Zoom since March. Um, and it's something I find really important for me and something I look forward to on a weekly basis, going back and forth over text, but also just coming together to, to chat over video chat and learn about what's going on in his life, share what's going on in mine, and, and play games and have fun still and just enjoy that mentoring relationship that we have. During normal times, we, we'd be gathered here. Um, all together in Montpelier, um, which obviously we are not today. Some of you might be in Montpelier, but we're not at the Capitol Plaza. Um, and the governor would be here with us. And unfortunately, he's not able to join us today uh, for this event, but he did share a quote with us about the importance of mentoring and, and how he sees mentoring fitting into to the, the important work that he's trying to make happen throughout the state. Um, he also proclaimed National Mentoring Month, uh, January National Mentoring Month. And you can, you can view that proclamation uh, in the coming days here along with right now, you can view the nominations of all 13 of these mentor ambassador matches on our website, mentorvt.org. So once again, I really just wanted to thank you all for joining us today um, and for all you do as mentors or mentees or, or program coordinators or program staff or just supporters of mentoring. Uh, so I wanted to turn it over and introduce you all to Doug Glen uh, Dan Glanville, uh, Comcast Vice President for Government Affairs and Community Impact for Western New England, and Brad Palazzo, uh, Comcast Director of Community Impact for Western New England as well. Uh, so Dan, I'm gonna turn it over to you and I, I think you're unmuted, so you should be able to take it away and uh, introduce us to these ambassadors and mentoring. Great, uh, thanks so much, Chad. Uh, I will say Doug's an easy mistake. He's a great baseball player of which I am not, but uh, thanks very much for uh, having us here today. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, every year we get a lot of requests and a, an event like this is an easy one for us because it has such an impact. And it's really a pleasure to be here again this year Last year, we were all together in one room uh, to recognize the outstanding mentors and the mentees. And really, it's incredible how much our lives had changed uh, since, uh, how much they've changed since that gathering. I was telling both uh, Chad and uh, Benji when we were got together before the meeting began that I missed the opportunity to get together and mingle and uh, enjoy the uh, coffee table and all of that. So it's a little bit different. And one thing that has certainly not changed and really is more important than ever is the impact that a role model and a mentor plays and the impact that they can have on the life of a young person. We all know that middle school and high school can be a really difficult time in an adolescent's life, even under normal circumstances. Never mind trying to navigate through the pandemic and all of these social distancing rules. I'm happy to report that all of the matches that we're gonna talk about and introduce today have found ways to stay connected and to continue that mentoring mentee relationship. I'm sure that they have had time talking through ways to overcome many of the day-to-day -day challenges that we all face and have found fun and interesting ways to celebrate the success. Uh, it goes to show just how important these matches are to both the mentors and the mentees and how committed they are to their communities. You know, I'm here with some of my peers today, Brad Palazzo, who's going to be speaking, 
But two folks who aren't speaking, Melissa Pierce, who lives in Rutland and does a lot of work for us across the state, and Jessica Forrest, who assists all of our community investment endeavors. And we as a group, and really all of the employees in Comcast Western New England and across the country, really look at the importance of mentoring and the importance of community. And that's why we're so happy to be involved in this program. Across Vermont, you know, we have long standing relationships with many nonprofits, including Boys and Girls Clubs, YMCAs, and United Ways across the state. And for the prior five years and now the sixth year, we've been very proud to partner with Mentor Vermont and continue that. Today's event will celebrate unique stories of the mentor matches from across Vermont and the highlights, uh, really, the youth mentees and their mentors as we honor both of them. Uh, by sharing stories with the public, you're helping to raise awareness for the benefits of mentoring and the need for more mentors and mentoring programs, not only throughout the state, but really across the country. Today, my colleague Brad Palazzo, our Director of Community Impact, is going to be joining me to help recognize 13 amazing ambassador matches. I will begin first with Elena and Monica, who have been matched through Cabot Mentoring Program for three years. They are so close that when Monica published a book and went on a local tour, Elena went along to help out and keep her company. They view their match as a new friendship that adds really so much to both of their lives. Benji, Benji and Chad, I'm not sure how we're doing this, if we're gonna have a, a moment for applause or if we're just gonna continue powering through this, uh, can you offer some I, I think, uh, yeah, I would say let's uh, let's just go keep on going through one at a time here and then we'll, we'll definitely take a pause to do a round of applause and, and also do a group photo at the end here. Excellent, so big congratulations to them and then I'll turn it over to my colleague Brad for the next. Thanks, Dan. <clears throat> um, I'd like to recognize uh, Alexis and Megan uh, who, met, uh, who met through the Windsor County Mentors and and over their two years as the match, Megan has seen Alexis's courage and ability to make friends develop. Uh, Alexis even bravely sang a song on Facebook Messenger that she had learned in music class about the importance of friendship. Great, thanks, Brad. I'm then gonna recognize both Caleb and John who've been connected through the mentoring project of the Upper Valley for a little more than two years. Uh, that's, a, that's a great continuation. Caleb lives with his mother and two sisters, so he really enjoys getting out for some guy time to hike and bike with John, who also knows what it's like to live in an all-female household. As John put it, I think having my mentoring relationship with Caleb has added another dimension to my life. And during COVID-19, that's been very, very good. Thanks, Dan. Um, now I'd like to recognize uh, Charlotte and Amanda, who met through the Milton Mentors um, over three years ago. And during their three-year match, Amanda has seen Charlotte really open up and become more confident in group settings. This creative duo has gone on lots of adventures, created countless art projects, and explored a variety of ways to stay connected remotely during the pandemic. Great, thank you, Brad. And next we're gonna move on to Elias and Patrick and they are matched through the Middlebury College Community Friends. They've been together for a year now and regularly attend all of the Community Friends events and even got to be part of the program's 60th anniversary story project together. Before social distancing, Elias liked to spend time with Patrick on campus and especially eating meals in the dining halls. Who doesn't like to do that? And uh, thank you, Dan. Uh, I, I'd now like to recognize Ferris and Bob, uh, who met through the Grand Isle County Mentoring uh, an incredible eight years ago. Wow, congratulations. Uh, in Ferris's words, Bob has had a huge impact on me. He's taught me so much and was the first person to get me interested in music. He's just a good, positive role model in my life that I like to hang out with. Bob, Bob is just in, uh, in enamored with Ferris sharing that Ferris is small, is very smart, and his ability to multitask is remarkable. I'm also impressed with the effort he puts forth to research topics he's interested in, such as candidates, platforms, and in the last election. 
Great. And now we'll move on to Garen and Joe, and they are newly matched in the past year through the collaborative. Garen's an inquisitive and energetic first grader that has been a great example for being a flexible and resilient adapting to what we've called the new normal in this virtual connection era. The two of them talk regularly to catch up on what's going on in their lives and of course share about their favorite activity, but one of their favorite activity is also to play word games. Thanks, Dan. Uh, I'd now like to recognize uh, Jalen and Jaylen and uh, Andrea, who have been matched for four years through mentoring at UCS. Despite the pandemic, they've been able to safely do outdoor activities such as hiking and cross country skiing. During their time together, Andrea has exposed Jaylen to new experiences and is amazed at Jaylen's inner strength and bravery, as well as her drive to continually change herself. Great, thanks, Brad. And now on to Lily and Marie, who met a year ago through the Twinfield Together mentoring program. Before the pandemic, Marie enjoyed cheering Lily on at her basketball games. And these days, they get together virtually to read books, do crafts, and play games together. Although they're not able to meet face to face, Marie loves to be able to see Lily, Lily's smiling face online and it is inspired by her attitude and creativity. Thank you, Dan. I'd now like to recognize Michaela and Jen. They are matched through the New Circle Mentoring. Three years in, and they have a bond that Michaela can rely on, and they are a team. Pre-pandemic, they attended all kinds of events and classes and camps. And even with social distancing, they stay in touch through letters, walks outside, and Jen has even paid visits to drop off gifts to Michaela. Uh, no, she's not, so she knows she's not alone during these trying times. Originally planned as a one year match, Nakia and Emily met through the King Street Center eight years ago when Nakia was 10 years old. Their re relationship has grown from baking apple pies and visiting the JP Water Park to the complex, through the complexity of adolescence to today where Nakia has grown into a young and confident woman. Nakia recently said of Emily, she has always said that when the times get tough, believe in yourself and put the work into it. She has shown me that community, the community is a better place when you put your time in and follow your dreams. Thanks, Dan. I'd like to now recognize Tanil and Amy, who have been matched for four years through the Lincoln Mentors. During this time, Amy has become deeply woven into the fabric of Tanil's life. Spending time with her every week, either in person or virtually, even when Amy moved to another town and her commute tripled. Tanil's eyes light up when she talks about their latest adventure, and it's apparent that Amy equally enjoys their time together. Great, and our final group is Tempe and Sarah that were matched through Empower Up Windsor Central mentoring two years ago. Tempe's grandmother had, has noticed that as a result of her relationship with Sarah, Tempe has really come out of her shell and is working hard at school as a student in her academics and in her relationships with others. The two do a wide range of activities together, including arts and crafts, schoolwork, drawing, Play-Doh projects, and more. You know, Brad and I are honored that Mentor Vermont allowed us to share these incredible stories of resiliency and friendship with all of you. We'd like to take the time to thank all of the mentors and the mentees for their service as ambassadors in support of youth mentoring in Vermont. Chad, Benji, and Liz, a big thank you for all that you do with your mentorship initiatives and today's virtual ceremony is yet another example of your professionalism and your passion for mentoring. And of course, a huge thank you to all of you who joined today to support the mentors and mentees. We hope that you find their stories as inspiring as we have. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan and Brad and Comcast for your continued support. Um, Benji, actually, let's take off the screen share here so folks can make sure they can see each other. If you can't see who all is joining here, if you want to go to 
gallery view, you can see everybody. Um, really, from Mentor Vermont, wanted to thank you all for all that you do uh, to support mentoring in your community as mentors, mentees, and staff and supporters. Uh, you all make mentoring throughout the state possible, and we really are looking forward to amplifying your stories as ambassadors of mentoring through our newsletter, through social media, really just encourage more folks to learn what mentoring can look like, because we find that people are more likely to sign up to be mentors and mentees when they see their peers doing it and also hear real life stories about mentoring. So we really appreciate you taking that on and being examples for what mentoring can be in your community. So we hope you'll encourage folks that you know to go on and read your stories and check out each other's stories on our website, mentorvt.org. Uh, but I did wanna take a photo here so we can, we can celebrate this and share that as well. Um, so if you all can, if you wanna be on the photo, turn on your camera. Uh, if you don't, feel free to shut it off. There's, there's enough of us, I'm gonna have to take a couple screenshots here, so bear with me. Um, but if uh, you all wanna give me your best smile or any silly face you wanna make, we'll, we'll go with that. And uh, we'll, we'll take a photo here. So bear with me for one second. All righty, one, two, three. All righty, one second here. And then we'll take one more. Let me go to the next page here. All righty, one, two, three. All right, I think I got it. Let me double check here to make sure Benji agrees. I think we got everybody and we should be good. Um, but thank you so much for joining today. Uh, and we really do truly appreciate everything that you do uh, to make mentoring possible in your community. Um, and thanks again to Comcast. So everybody have, uh, we, we, maybe we can take ourselves off mute real quick and just give a big round of applause and see how much feedback we get. But I think it's warranted. Yay. Yay. Uh, we look forward we look forward to celebrating with you all in person next year um and and definitely thank you so much and have a great day and stay warm and stay safe thank you so much thank you bye everybody thank you. Bye. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you thank you nice job thanks yep nice job